Let's take a look at our starting lineups. First, the NOLA Gold. This is brought to you by Rob's AC. And Jeffrey, some very welcome returns for Gold fans here, especially up front with Sean Perinini coming back and Jared Adams slotting over his preferred spot at Lucid. Right. Hopefully they can stay on the pitch. They've been subject to a couple of yellow cards recently, and they just need to tone it down with referee Scott Green and be looking for that foul play. Well, and in the backs, this is a key. Uh, Reefs both us slotting it at number 10 with both Rodney Yona and Dorian Jones out at that key position for NOLA Gold. So keep Keep an eye on him, see how he does. Corey Brown, head coach, of course, the New Zealander. Proud of his lineup here and looking to get them into a better spot for the playoffs coming up. But the Utah Warriors rolling in here at four and six. Uh, made some changes up front with some of the big men slotting in and out. Uh, but one to look for, especially in the backs, is Paul Lasique. Kind of a legend around here. Well-loved in... Utah, the New Zealander, look for an impacts play from him today. Yeah, I love, they have a big, big, big team out there today, and I'm wondering how they're going to deal with the heat. It's still about 84 degrees here, so uh, coming down from Utah, there's some big human beings out there for Utah. And he plays sent up there, Cam Russell. Right. Scott Green is like Methuselah. He just doesn't seem to age. <laughs> there you go. Well, there is the kickoff, and we are in action right. here in New Orleans. It's going to be a knock, just an accidental knock. Gold, they have an opportunity here. You've got a lot of numbers to the right if they use the football. Can they Again, get it out? It's just a little coming out slow. They're going to pick and go against these big, this big Utah defense. Oh, big, big run. Oh, look at that run. Is he over the line? Yeah, Malcolm May. And watch this. Just watch how he does it. He gets the ball. He makes that hit. He keeps moving. They can't stop him. He's just a freight train over the line. He keeps those those thighs moving, and boom, over it goes. Five points on the board for Nola Gold to start this the way the home team wanted. So for me, that would be a double. That would be a, a half a try for him and one for Pat O'Toole. You see Pat O'Toole get that shoulder in Malcolm's butt. That's a good, 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 good kick, and he collected. He does. He's on uh, the run. He gives it another kick. Nice goalie, the soccer goalie <laughs> save by McKenna. <laughs> Like ball's still active, though. Still in gold hands. Jared Adams there. Yeah, he loves Big crop. A, he loves to have a rumble. Oh, he does. He's beat two. Oh, he needs to beat one more. Can he stay on his feet? Can he get over the line? He was just about there. Does he do it? Yes, he does. That's another try for gold. He, he loves to have a rumble when he gets the ball. But watch this. He's got great feet. And just look at this. And then the defend the right here. And the strength to get over that. And he gets the one movement. He gets the, It's not a double move because he gets the one movement. That is 265 pounds of rugby fury built on a 5'11 frame. Look at the determination on his face. He could have gone down there. There. No. Over the line he goes. Because he's not held there by 12. Yeah, good referee by Scott Green listening to Joel Hodgson. And the captain and Joel saying, look, I see some some things, Scott, can you take a look at it? And, and Scott will. He's a, he's a very responsive referee. He's been around for a long time. Well, and that's what a ref wants. I mean, a little conference with the captain. So they basically, they they got Ohila for pulling on the jumper before he had hit the ground. You can sack it once he hits the ground. You can't do it while he's still in there. That's a good maul if they can keep it some shape here. That's in. Over the line and down. That's a try for Nola Gold. Yep. From the line out to the mall to the try zone. Allow them to hit the ground. And they just came down here. They got good shape. And they just kind of spun off and just kept bound. Okay. I don't know who. It looks like maybe Malcolm May there. Um, yeah. I see some wraps. Okay, shot clock's on, my friend. You got 26. Matt or Matty Corroy. I, I can't really see. with. Tries good, Scott. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, looks that like will look like Corroy. Corroy. That's yeah. right. Yes. And that was like a, maybe a foot from the the, the touch. Nick Sushan. Nick Sushan's pass is good in there. Right to the mall they go. Yeah, this is good. Driving is good. now. Driving. Gold good. trying to stop him. Just be patient. Oh, still yeah, moving yeah, over yeah. the line they go, and they're on the board into the try zone and on the board. Five points for Utah. Man, the New Zealander. Right. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, been, he's been in the league for a bit, and Play. that's just smart. He just kept it at the back and just waited for things to open. See, good patience from Utah on this. Like, no, no rush. You, he, you're going forward. You're going forward. He was down and dirty there. Good line. This is good stuff. 
but good defense from New Orleans. Warriors are playing with Fury. But gold desperate oh, to keep him out. Oh, goes. and that's how it's going to go down. Boom. A try by the Warriors to end it from Lopetti Azea. Wow. They knew what they were up against. They knew what they could pull off here in the last final seconds, and they do. Look at that break. Untouched. But let's hold all house money until this gets a little look from the officials. Yeah, here's the final play from Hodgson. He's been on the pitch all night. He approaches. The kick is away. That kick is good. And that is how the game will end. New Orleans triumphant. 21-14 over Utah, who are fighting back at the end but couldn't quite get there.